We're not going to talk a whole lot about development. If you want to know more, you should be taking my sex and gender class where we get to spend more time on this. This is a short section at the end of this chapter. You're welcome to read more about um, and do extra credit related to if you'd like. But here's just a brief, it's kind of a way to start looking at male and female anatomy. And this is it's pretty cool. Um, of course, it's complicated. And there's things that can go differently in each stage of development in this pathway. But this is kind of the typical development of male and female from in utero. So up here, I've lost my, oh, there we go. Um, we've got a five to six week old embryo. So that means a small baby that has not been born five to six weeks. That's pretty young, right? Um, at this point, it's sexually indifferent, meaning there are there is this um, what's called bipotential gonads that have the potential to develop either into male or female reproductive organs. Around this time, the development of of internal genitalia. Um, and external begins. And this is determined by the Y chromosome that's present in males. So males are XY. They have this gene on the Y chromosome. This is our Y chromosome here called SRY. Um, the SRY is the testes determining factor in humans and many mammals. It determines whether testes form or not. And the simple view of it, if it's present, testes form. There's actually some genes on the X chromosomes. Having two of these may be important as well, beyond the scope of this class. Um, SR, so SRY is present. That's going to result in testes formation. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that says. Testes are going to produce testosterone. So that's going to then have this... Um, result of cascades of different hormones being produced and the development of more characteristics um, to ultimately develop this male reproductive system. This is obviously the inside here. Um, the penis would be here. And without that, you've got the female reproductive system that develops in the absence of this testes determining factor. So that's how these um, reproductive systems develop. When you're born then, you have internal and external genitalia developed. In puberty, secondary sex characteristics appear, and that is due to the HPG axis kicking in, um, where due to further increases in these hormones, you have the development of secondary sex characteristics. So as you know, baby boys are not born with facial hair, really big muscles, um, that comes about due to testosterone during puberty. And female secondary sex characteristics, hair as well, other places, breasts, et cetera, come after puberty as well. May come back to this a bit. At this point, the point is to look at the development of these two internal, primarily internal anatomy systems. Um, and let's look at them and label them. Clear drawings to it, there we go. Okay, so let's label a few things here. Okay. So both males and females, what this means is have share some characteristics. Um, there are what's called homologous structures that are similar and similar functions in the two sexes. Also note, this is the first time we've talked about differences between males and females. That doesn't mean there aren't other differences in other organs, but they're not very big. So like kidney function, there have been, we haven't talked about kidneys yet. There's probably some slight differences in due to hormones, but not nearly as large as reproductive functions, which makes sense. So this is the time we're gonna be talking about males and females separately. Males and females all have um, gametes. So they're all gonna produce gametes. They are produced in the gonads. So these produce gametes. Our gonads are going to be testes, singular is testis, 
in males. And we've got both here and here are ovaries in females. Now I'm gonna start um, changing colors in just a moment here. So the testes are going to produce sperm. What is sperm? That's our gamete. Ovaries are gonna produce eggs or oocytes. And that's our gametes in females. Gametes are cells that have, um, are, are haploid. They only have one set of chromosomes so that they can combine with the opposite gamete and make a new genetically distinct child. The other thing both male and females have are um, some copulatory organ, right? Something to get the sperm to the egg. They need to be able to meet. In males, this is the penis. In females, now what is this? Well, I'm, I'm going to say what traditionally it is, but I'm also going to say what a, another homologous structure is to the penis. Um, so the copulatory organ in the female is not a homologous structure. Let's see, you've got that and that. What are those? That is the vagina. The vagina is inside your body. It's not that thing that you can see. I argue with my kids about this because I kind of don't love the word vulva, um, but that's the name of this stuff out here, this outside stuff is the vulva. Vagina is only the tube that goes, that is inside your body. You're not seeing your vagina unless you're doing a pap smear or doing something else. Okay, the other thing I wanted to say here is the, so copulatory organs are penis and vagina, allow for transfer of sperm to from one organism to the other. However, the homologous organ to the penis is actually the clitoris. So that is probably somewhere, I think that's it right there. It's gonna be kind of down here as well. Um, I want to just point this out just because it is an important um, organ. It is not necessary for reproduction, but it is likely, I mean, evolved or hung around as a remnant of the penis. I don't, that's, it has um, same, the same nerve endings, some similar structures to the penis, and is probably designed to help make sex pleasurable because it's better that way. Um, the carry on of our species is going to work better if um, all parties are um, enjoying things. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Gametes, gonads, copulatory organ, testes, penis, um, sperm, yep, ovaries, vagina, clitoris, egg, or oocytes. Okay, we'll introduce some more of the structures that you see here um, when we look at each one individually.